Oh my god! What is happening here, Bratans? Bitcoin is doing every day a new all-time high. My trades are exploding. I'm shaking. I'm sweating. I have stains all over my shirt because I'm every day, the whole day, I'm analyzing the coin, the, all the altcoins where I'm trading. And I am with over $2 million long. My positions right now, here you see, my positions right now are crazy. Here, uh, $9,000 in profits. Uh, 60,000, 61,000, 35,000, 6,500, 25,000 dollar in profits. Uh, the next uh, trades, here we have the next trades, 70k in profit. Uh, no, I have to, wait, I have to refresh, I have to refresh. Because GME pumped like crazy, we have GME here. Wait a minute, here I zoom out, I will show you in detail later in this video. Here, 61k in profit. Uh, 2,100 IOS in profit, 5,800 shitcoin beam in loss, but GME is pumping, making God candles, $2,200 in profit. My God, and the US market just opened, Bratan. What the fuck? What the fuck? Back pain treatment. <laughs> okay, bro. Oh my God. Okay, wait, we have to speak. We have to speak about Bitcoin because it... It's breaking out. Look at this weekly candle. We had this weekly candle closed this week. This huge candle. This is exactly this massive candle which you don't want to see in your adult videos, but you want to see on a Bitcoin chart. That's that's one historically of the biggest candles which we ever saw in Bitcoin closing weekly candle. And here, what we have here, we have here a, a, a rising wedge. A rising wedge or ascending broadening wedge is a bearish pattern. Usually, it should break down to the downside. You measure from the top to the downside and you know we had several bearish patterns which we broke to downside. The price target is 68k. But as, as of right now, you see it live here, we start to break above 60 uh, above 82k 69 is my favorite position but this is 82k we start to break above that's crazy and the the, the most interesting thing is always in a bull market not always but the bearish patterns break more in most of the time bull markets to the upside even though they should break to the downside and i'm sh why i'm shaking so because i am invested with almost all of my net worth in long position what is so stupid with 2.5 million dollar it's right now 3 million dollar or something like that and i don't know should i take profits and jump later into the trades again so I'm, so i get the profits right now like half million dollar or 300 dollar i don't know how much it is or should I wait because I'm missing out? Imagine I would take right up profits, the market pumping, and I'm missing out on the gains. I don't know. I need I need the help of... I have very professional traders watching me. Please tell me. I will do here the analysis for you, for the, for the, for the nerds, for the ones who cannot trade, but the professional ones, please explain me. Am I on the right path or not? So we start... First, we have to start with Bitcoin because if Bitcoin moves to downside, everyone is going down to the... But right now, Bitcoin is starting again. So we have to watch. Fuck, it's getting rejected. It's getting rejected. Oh, no, 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 no. It's going down. You see? It's going down. So this is, you see, this is the danger because then all altcoins starting to dump. We have a lot of liquidity here starting at 75K. 75k till 70k is the first chunk of liquidity but on the very big, big picture the interesting thing is on the very big picture if we are checking out on the very big picture this is what i what i found while i was eating burritos the very interesting thing is that after we broke this previous all-time high you see this is the all-time high for 2020 21 which we had maybe i make it a little bit bigger so you see it even better wait a minute here this is the previous all-time high from 2021 and if we are watching in the history, when we closed this crazy candle, what we had uh, yesterday closed, uh, uh, yesterday this weekly candle, usually we never revisited this uh, previous, the local top, the, the historical local top, never again. You see, here was also this huge candle. So what happened with, with the next weekly candle? You see, this was the all-time high when we broke 2020, when we broke the previous all-time high from 2017. Here's the previous all-time high, you see? So what happened, this is right now, it looks exactly like our weekly candle, this candle, yeah? And this is the second candle. So the second candle where we are right now, the second weekly candle, you see this one. And what is interesting is that 
the breakdown where where we are all afraid of was only from from the all time from the all time high of our weekly candle was only by 10% approximately so in case we see right now a, a break of 10% from our all time high candle i mean th this one which we closed um 10% we we would see bitcoin at 72k which is totally fine we, nothing will happen to to altcoins and 72k they would grab all the liquidity take please take the liquidity but leave my altcoins alone. Leave Britney alone and leave altcoins alone and leave Justin Bieber alone. So this is very important to watch. I'm so afraid of. But what is another nice thing but also danger is the total crypto market cap. I told you the most important thing is the total crypto market cap. And here we have again the total crypto market cap was running from $2 trillion start of the week to 2.7 trillion dollar end of the week so each candle represents a week here you see we had a pump of over 500 billion into the market was pumped and this is blackrock blackcock every every of these etfs which are pumping into the market but what's interesting what's where nobody's speaking about is in 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 the truth is we never broke all-time high on the total crypto market cap. This is our all-time high from 2020. We never broke it to the upside as you see it. We never broke it yet, yet. And the again, if we compare historically, and this is how we identified exactly the bottom in 2022 because we just watched the previous all-time high. The previous all-time high from 2017, we we just touched it, you see, and then we had the bull run starting. So actually, the bull run started to be very clear in 2020, end of 2022, 22, sorry, 22. This exactly when we touched the all-time high from 2017. But what we have to watch right now is this cup and handle. You see here, whoop, when we broke in 2020, the all-time high from 2017. This is when the when the crazy part started. So again, the insane thing is the huge, the retarded, this one, this this part even didn't start it yet because we didn't broke all-time high on our total market cap. And what's interesting is to watch what happened when we touched the previous all-time high from 2020, uh, from 2020 or from, from the previous bull market, which is in 2021. What happened? Got we rejected? See, so we total crypto market cap going down because if total crypto market cap going down, then Bitcoin is going down and all the altcoins going going down. And in the history of Bitcoin, we saw here in the bull market in 2020, so the previous bull market, as soon as we as we start touching, it was. I mean, you know what we start touching the all time high, not what do you think. As soon as we start touching, it got volatile. We saw dips from 15, 20 percent, 15 to 10 percent. We saw here the dips. You see here, we saw some dips of uh, 20 percent even, which is also okay. 20 percent on total crypto market cap is also billions of billions of dollars. But this is where it got a bit volatile, and we got reject, which rejected, where we got rejected. And right now, you see it here exactly. There are two lines. There's one line here, one line here, because this is the exactly where we closed one weekly candle one weekly the body and this is the wick of the body so this the first line represents the wick the second line represents the body as, as you see it here and you see we touched as soon as we touched the the body all-time high you see here, the body all-time high we we got rejected and the same happened as soon as we touched the wick so we had two times rejection the good thing about right now we have still a bit to go so we still have 2.2 trillion dollar to go i mean not 2.3 we have still 72 billion to go so we have a little pump in front of us until we possibly could get rejected and see bitcoin dumping hopefully only to 70k and the, another interesting part wait i forgot to tell you another interesting part what what is what is so crazy wait 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 i have to no pepper we will speak in a second about pepper we will speak in a second i have to go back uh, the interesting thing is as i told you as soon as we broke the previous all-time high the previous all-time high here you have you see always the bull mark the crazy part of the bull market side the real you see and if we are watching the previous i told you we we didn't we didn't have major 
major dumps after we broke the previous all-time high, not on total crypto market, but on the price. And the crazy thing is, we saw a pump. The first big pump was over 112%. You see, 112%. And the first candle, which we broke the all-time high, was 28%. 28%. Right now, our candle which the first where we broke the all-time high was how much? 23%. You see, we had basically only, we had only one, two, one, two, three, four. Within four weeks, within four weeks, we made in the previous bull market, as soon as we broke all-time high, we made over 122%. So imagine if we have right now also four green candles. One, one, two, three, four, and you see, we broke all-time high, and if it's also around 100%, then we would reach $135,000 within the next three weeks. This is crazy. This could happen because we didn't have any major resistance also in the previous, not a major resistance, but not any major dumps in the previous bull market. When as soon as we broke the previous all-time high, the only danger where I'm where I'm watching is, is the total crypto market cap. Because on total crypto market cap, the so all the money in the market cap, we never we never broke yet the all-time high. So I, I'm a little bit nervous if we're going to 2.8 trillion dollar or 3 trillion dollar total crypto market cap. This is what we have to, we have to watch out. This we're a bit worried about. But the positive thing is this is the chart, the total crypto market cap without Bitcoin. So all the altcoins. And you see, it's a long, a long, long way to go until we're reaching previous all-time high from 2022. It means, can you imagine what will happen to to altcoins it's retarded bro you will sit you will you you will want to drive the wheelchair with the joystick because you 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 get completely retarded bro this is crazy you cannot understand what will happen i'm i do you if you're sitting here on your sofa in your underpants do you understand what i'm talking here about please tell me i know my english is not the best but t can you understand this is this is do you see how much is way to this 50 percent still to go in the total crypto market altcoins altcoins go will go crazy where a bit worried is the fear and greed index is hitting hard we are getting in the ultra extreme greed area soon and this usually where we where we see some at least at least consolidation or a dump this we're a bit worried about but the nice thing is the total crypto, uh, the Bitcoin dominance is start to going down. You see here, we from 60%, we dumped to 59%. It means the, the total market cap where we spoke about, which is around $2.8 trillion, 60 or 59% is right now in Bitcoin, which is usually moving after Bitcoin starts to consolidate. It, the money is moving into the altcoins. And this is where my money is lying. This is where my bags start to pumping when your tax, taxi driver is starting to invest th their last money into pepper into my coins this is to who i sell my my peppers you know do you, do you understand bro so we have to be fast here we have to be really fast as soon as we're breaking this massive rising wedge which is a bearish pattern it means the bitcoin dominance should go to the bottom of the wedge which is usually the price tag the bottom of the wedge which is 40 percent it means 40 percent will on the total market 40 percent would be would be the 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 money the total money in bitcoin but 60 percent would be in altcoins imagine how many 5 10x 100x in altcoins are waiting for us it's crazy and hopefully for our so we see here right now also bitcoin we're watching right now uh, the open interest here down below and you see here in this period we saw not the period uh, between your legs but in this period of open interest we saw the open interest drop down which is not usually a very good sign because if the price is going up but open interest is going down it means people start to close their positions closing shorts closing longs and waiting for the market to drop but this was exactly the time when the US was sleeping. And you see, as soon as US woke up and got their cheeseburger, they started to buy Bitcoin and the open interest start rising and the price start rising. So it means they're interested in the price action to the upside, in the bullish price action. Do you understand that this is very nice? Bitcoin is at 83K. Bro, wait, wait, wait. I have to refresh. Hopefully it's not the old. No, it's at 83K. Oh my God. Are we breaking again? Are we breaking this? Are we breaking the rising wedge to the upside? The ascending broadening wedge to the upside? 
We break, we breaking. We breaking, bro, we breaking. Look at this fucking candle, bro. What the fuck is going on? We have again all time high here live in this video. 83k. What the fuck is going on? This, this is completely retarded. It's get it's completely retarded. Oh my god. We see here, we see here on uh where we have the biggest support, the biggest support of Bitcoin is coming the first one at 80k so right now the first uh, price target in case we start drop is 80k but we're breaking to the upside bro i don't know when we should break to the oh my god look at this look at this do you get also boner like me that's that's cr i don't know the second one in case we break the 80k area the the next volume this is the volume we're coming in it's, it's coming at 67k so the first uh support is at 80k the next one at 76k the next one 75k and in case we're breaking 75k we don't have a lot of support then we should break around 65k and this is the danger for altcoins because if we're breaking to 70 65k around where we have a lot of liquidity waiting this could be very dangerous because altcoins would, dr would drop even more. It could be dangerous for me because I'm long on all these shit coins. They all shit, bro. All these projects are shit. If they tell you it's utility, utility, they all shit. But what we are watching, where's the attention? You see here, look at this liquidity. Billions, millions, billions, quadr quadrillions at 65k. And if the usually market maker tend to grab this liquidity, if they grab this, this, this gets dangerous. You see here, they grabbed all the liquidity to the upside. Now they could drop at uh, get it at 65k 58k also a lot of don't think that we i don't think that we will go there but 65k a lot of millions sitting there which they could grab this is all the long position which get really like this do you understand so this is what we have to watch let's uh, go quickly further s p 500 the market opened new all-time high s p 500 congratulations to all the to all the kfc and cheeseburgers uh, in the US, they make a new all-time high. That's amazing. The stock market is going crazy, bro. It's really... The thing is, I, I don't know if you understand, if you can follow me what I'm talking here about, but the crazy thing is, we really, we really could break in within the next three weeks the 100,000, Bitcoin 100,000. One sec. If Bitcoin, if Bitcoin breaks 100,000 in the next three weeks, this is the exact, this is the exact moment when we could potentially see some rejection. But if we're going to 100,000, this is exactly the moment when we could potentially see altcoins and all of my positions, which you see here, which you see hundreds of thousands could go into uh, which not hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands but could go in hundreds of thousands and potentially millions into profit hopefully hopefully please you have to you have really to think about me and pray for me that this will work out let's check out again on my trades quickly how they looking like wait a minute i have to move it like this i will show you the all everything but i just want the profits 11,071k, 60k 38k okay i show you i show you here uh wait a minute here uh, uh pepper is eleven thousand dollar in profits uh fat 72k up 60k or 38k beam eight thousand uh, injectives twenty seven thousand dollar in profit so this looks amazing we will speak about every every coin again but first we have to start wait a minute wait 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 chill 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 bro chill so first we have to check first we have to check we have to check Pepper. Okay, let's start with Pepper because about Bitcoin, we spoke Bitcoin is breaking again all time high. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. 80, let's speak about Pepper. We're starting with Pepper. My position on Pepper, what, what, what's happening? What's happening? My position on Pepper, uh, here, I have again to refresh because it's, it's changing so quickly. Even Bybit is not, is not, ready for the 72k you see this was my price this is where i bought this is where i bought this is the price where the price right now i am right now at 40 percent in profits with a 365 thousand dollar position here right now uh, let's check out my price target is here uh, 1465 one wait a minute where is it 1465 is my price target here one oh 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 
Again, alert. Bitcoin breaking 83k. Bitcoin is pumping further. That's look at this. Look at. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? 100k, 100k incoming. 100k incoming. A hundred thousand incoming. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We have to go. We have to. We have to watch. Pepe is pumping for sure. Price target one four six five because of the Fibonacci. What What is Fibonacci? Doesn't matter. Even I don't know what is Fibonacci. But one four six five. This is our price target, which is in exactly exactly alignment with this channel. You see where we perfectly bounced between. Then we broke it. Then we had here a shakeout. Everyone here lost their 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 money, their house, their wife, everything. But then we saw pump, and luckily we bought somewhere here around at ten, and now we see pump. So we should see another pump here uh, to 18 uh, 18 percent all of this what you see here these boxes we can delete because this was where the liquidity was here you see they grabbed all the liquidity perfectly as we i expected we can delete it this liquidity they almost also grabbed we can also delete it so what we have left is to reach a price target at 14.5 we have some liquidity here with what is <clears throat> What is dangerous because here's some liquidity, yeah. Here from seven going down to six. This is where where we have some liquidity. I don't think that we will go as low as this, but we have to be careful. We have to be careful. First price tag one four six five. The next one one eight nine six. The next one two three two three two six. The next one two seven five. 275. The nice thing about this, also Pepper, look at this massive candle. Wait, I have to I have to turn this off not right now. Look at this massive candle. Look at this massive candle. This massive candle we had only once when when bit when Pepper start first pumping, 300 percent. Right now we had a pump of over 63 percent. Okay, we had we had uh, we had this candles here. Here you see, boom. But what happened afterwards when we had here this green candle? One, two, three, four, five, six weeks only green candles. Imagine. And what the pump was was this? This was a pump. This was a pump of over 265%. If we have here six weeks of pump of 265%, we could see Pepper potentially at around at around three, three. Okay, not a three, but around a two eight three, two eight three. It means almost, not almost, but double of Pepper. This could easily happen because this is the number one, number one meme coin on Ethereum. Number one meme coin on Ethereum. You remember the picture of Vitalik. You remember this picture of Vitalik where you see through his pants that these candles could happen with Pepper. Okay, okay, let's let's watch where's the liquidity on Pepper. And you see here, this is the danger. This is the only danger which we have here. We could go to 8.3 approximately. This is where we have a lot of liquidity. And 8.3 is again approximately here at our, at our Fibonacci 2.36. You see, this could be the danger. And in case we're touching here this line, this would be a dump of 40%. 40% sounds a lot, but for meme coins, it's totally fine. 40%, this is the danger. So what I'm thinking about depends where Bitcoin will be. Possibly I will take here some profits and wait to re-entry here at 115 again. But I will be very careful and really thinking a lot of nights through, through about this because I... I'm anxious if I take here profits, what if we see moving the price here to 1896? And just for you to understand, for everyone who is new, imagine here I take profits. Let's say I make I take here profits at 1.5. Okay, here I take profits at 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0015. Wait a minute. 1 4. What? What? 1 0, 0, 1, 4. Wait a minute. What is the price right now? One one second, one second. Oh, it's not working. Oh my God, Pepe is going crazy completely. It's going completely. GME is going also crazy. GME, $2,500 profit. Uh, GME here, $4,000. This is IOS. Wait a minute. Here we have again. Here at 1456, it's. I have to move. I ah, It doesn't matter. You see, 82K in profits. But if we are going, what, what was the other price target? What was the other price target, bro? I am I am I lost. I completely lost. Where is the other? Uh one eight nine six. But if you're going to eight nine six, you see right now it's eighty two. It's 162. You see, it's almost double. So I could miss out on 80k. This is why I have to be very cautious. I have to really think about Okay, sm small thought because I, I really am anxious here. Okay. 
Um, what do we have Pepper else? Pepper, also we see Pepper here right now. The um, the open interest went down. Went down. The open interest went down, but starts to rise again. And the price, because the US market opened, and uh, they have also, they, they got some Starbucks, some Frappuccino, that's nice. And we see here Pepper, or oh, this is what I just see. It's a lot of support here at zero, one, two. You see a lot of volume here. You see here a lot of volume. If we're breaking here below 1.2, the next one would be at 1.09. And if you break it, the next one would be here at 0.9. The next one would be at 0.86 and 0.82. So these are the support lines for Pepper. Now let's speak about FAT. FAT, I am really FAT in position here in FAT where, where we have... Why? Wait a minute, here. I have to refresh also here. Fat, I am fat. I am 1.2 million dollar in position in the fat position. Let me show you here. I am 1.3 million. How it comes? I'm already 1.3 million dollar in position. 76k in uh, profits right now. Where's my liquidation price? Nine, 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 nine. It means no in Germany. So the th nice thing is we broke outside of this um, symmetrical triangle where a lot of people was anxious. I don't think it's a valid pattern. However, we broke outside. Here you see it. The only danger is the only danger is we close the weekly inside still. You see, we have a wick. This was only a wick, but we didn't close the body outside. But it's not a valid pattern, in my opinion. Also because I don't want to believe in this pattern. But what I'm much more believing in pattern, if we are going on the daily right now, we watch on the weekly, is this falling wedge. The price target falling wedge is the top of the wedge, which is exactly, one second, which is exactly $1.73. And this is also what I think we are heading to, because again, if we are zooming further in, if uh, at, at the 4 hourly, we see we are perfectly bouncing right now at Fibonacci 0.618 at $1.40. And the most important, the gold ratio is $1.78, cents. Uh, $1 you see, which is in alignment with the price target of the top of the rising wedge, which is the price target. And also with this massive support and resistance line, which goes back down, back to 2000, August 2024, which was a massive support line. You see it here, support, 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 support. And it would go into a resistance line, which we can easily break to the upside and we'll go to $2, $2.130. Why? Because on the big picture, as soon as Fed start pumping, as soon as Fed broke the previous all-time high, we, um, you see the local all-time high, as you see it here, for example, there was there was no drop at all. You see, the next weekly candle, we are watching every candle represents a week. We never saw not even a little bit breakdown. We just saw straight up. So this was a straight up of over 522%. Okay, to be exactly, we have to measure also the week. If we are going to measure also the week, it was around 600% pump in one, two, three, four, five six green candles if we see again six green candles and see pump of over 600 percent the let it be 300 percent we would see fat at four dollar 89 and can you believe four dollar 89 it's easily if bitcoin hits also 100k if we are going to uh, if we are speaking here about 600 percent we would land here at around seven dollar 50 which would be crazy so if this also, I don't know, should I take profits? Tell me, should I take profits here at $1.74 but it's, or 78 Because if I'm taking here profits at $1.78, I mean, look at this. If I'm taking here profits at $1.78, how, how I cannot go crazy here about this? Tell me, how I cannot go crazy about this? If we are taking here at $1.78, $1.78, one dollar seventy-eight. It would be three hundred eighteen thousand dollar profits, but if I miss out, if we see further pump, if we see further pump to two dollar, uh, two dollar fifteen, for example, if we see pump at two dollar fifteen, it would be six hundred forty thousand dollar profits. Six hundred forty thousand dollar profits. Can you imagine? Then I would, I would have three hundred. I would miss out a three hundred thousand dollar profit. And the price targets, anyways, at ten dollar at least, it would be seven point five million dollar. You, you see what I mean? What, what to do? 
Because what I'm thinking, imagine if I take now profits, but uh, then the price drops again to $1.33, which is not only Fibonacci 382 on the day on the weekly, but it's also here one of the one of the here to uh, Fibonacci 382 also on the daily, and is also if we are going on four hourly. It's one of our biggest supports you see here in the previous. You see, we saw a break here to the upside, this very fast break, and then we bounced very often on $1.30. So what I'm thinking, I'm taking here profits here, and then it bouncing back to $1.40 and $1.30, and then I can I have free $300,000 made. What to do? I don't know. What to do? Tell me about this. We see also we have a lot of liquidity at $1.80, a lot of, you see this yellow. The more yellow, the more money is here, which market maker tend to chase. Not much money left down below. Only, only, as I spoke, $1.30 is the magic mark here. We see here at $1.30 a lot of money sitting which again, we are thinking, should I take profits and re-enter at $1.30? You see here a lot of liquidity. But then I'm anxious. What if we're not going down there and I miss the entry? I don't know what to do. Fat, fat, about fat we spoke. Okay, next, uh, beam, beam this shit coin. I, I jumped into a long also on Bybit here. I jumped into a long and on BitGet. On Bybit, I'm right now on beam. $4,000 in the loss. You see everything is pumping. Only beam is not pumping. And on BitGet, I jumped also there in a in a long position. Uh, wait a minute, here I show you. This beam position is right now $100,000, which is how much in profits? $9,000 in profits. But here is this position uh, also $100,000, but $3,000 in the loss, as you see it here. You see it. Yeah, you see it. So the thing is, what I th I think, because I watched Beam usually pumps, if Bitcoin pumping, Beam is falling very quickly. So expecting here this W pattern still to break. Uh, to break, you see here this W pattern, you measure always from the top to the downside. And I'm expecting still Beam here to go to $2.5. Uh, to wow, well, you don't see it anything here. i expecting here, again, I tell you again. Here we see this W pattern and i expecting Beam, you measure here from the top to the downside. I'm expecting Beam to go to 2 0.5 cents still, which is amazing uh, profits, which where you can make 22%. This is the first price tag. Then we have 3.2 cent, 4 cent, uh, 4.7 cent, uh, and so on. Then we would reach our all-time high, which which we will, which we will. I'm pretty sure. But right now, I'm I'm anxious that I get liquidated, not on Bitget, but on Bybit, because on Bybit, my liquidation price I went too heavy, too greedy. I went 5x, and my liquidation price is at uh, one set. 1.79 cent, which is not so good because it's exactly it's exactly here, 1.79 cent. Here, you see? And why I'm anxious? Because it's too close to Fibonacci 0618, where we sh sh where we see usually drops, which is at a 1.83 cent, and I'm at 1.79 cent liquidation, you see? But hopefully we will reach it and I take here maybe some profits. Or maybe should I not take profits? I don't know. Tell me. I don't know. Really, I don't know about it. Beam, we see also we have some liquidity here sitting at $1.82, but not where my liquidation is at $1.79. We have, but not so much. So we could see still dump to $1 uh, to 1.83 cent. The next one, I have to be quicker, bro. Ordinals. Ordinals is pumping when Bitcoin pumping. You see here, we have crazy weekly, uh, we have crazy daily candles and crazy wicks here. Wait a minute. Okay. And uh, the the crazy part is I'm expecting if Bitcoin reaching 100,000, Ordi will go easy to $120, $100 all time, easy even to $120. This is why I'm long on Ordi. Or my Ordi position is also crazy because I sold my spot position and I went long 3x. And you see here, my Ordi position is 200. No, how much? How much? How much? $230,000 with 40K in profits. This also I'm thinking, should I maybe here take profits? Because imagine I take your profits and then it see dump and then I re-enter and I'm so genius, you know. And this is how usually you lose, you ending up losing money. But um, anyways, the first price target is 56K here. Wait a minute here. The, the first price target is here 56K, which is the golden ratio, 1618 Fibonacci, 56K. From here on, it's uh, 28%. I am pretty safe here, I think, because my liquidation price is here at $24. But um, this, would, this would mean, this would mean, uh, I mean, 
this is almost our bottom 28 was yeah here you see approximately here 24 we shouldn't see uh, we hopefully so low dropping but only to the fibonacci uh, 618 uh, worst case 34 dollar or 31 dollar something like that but not below 30 dollar hopefully but if bitcoin further pumping we see hopefully here the uh, pump to 56 dollar and we see here a lot of liquidity at $33, between $33 and $30. Oh, IOS is pumping. IOS is starting pumping this shitcoin. So nice. So nice. Here we have, here we have. Come on, come on, come on, come on. IOS, $4,000 profits. We will speak now in a second, IOS. I get always the alerts here. Shit, bro, I'm getting crazy. We see always the alerts. Okay, $4,000 in profits. IOS, ba 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 Ah! GME $5,000 profits, this shitcoin. If you're watching me, I'm here since months I was in a loss. Since months and this this piece of shit is pumping. Pepper, since months in a loss, also this shit is pumping. Not months, but weeks. Pepper, I made last month uh, 45k profits. This, this, uh, this month I want to make 100k profits. If I would take all the profits, I would make already 100k profits. But I don't want now because I want to make... I, this you know what i mean so aptos aptos also aptos oh, 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 oh. chill 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 brother aptos 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 okay aptos i'm also long i sold all my aptos position and aptos is like sui sui if sui pumping aptos following usually so i'm expecting sui went completely crazy i expecting aptos to follow you know i showed you i compared the charts in last week so i don't want again to to show you all this stuff uh so let's sh sh let's watch aptos my aptos position i sold all my spot position on aptos and went uh 2x on aptos my position is right now 286000 dollar 60000 dollar in profits right now with liquidation price 4 dollar 70 and also here i don't know should i right now take profits because the first price target we reached here um the first price target was at eleven dollar fifty three which is Fibonacci one six one eight the next price target is thirteen dollar the next one sixteen dollar and the next one eighteen dollar but what you know what you know from the last videos what I truly think is that up uh, that aptos will reach in the next uh four weeks uh we will see this huge double bottom working out and the price target is at $30 around $30 which would make crazy profits because at $30 I would see aptos wait I show you my aptos ah, if we are going to $30 I would make half million dollar profits you see should I take now profits and re-enter? Then I have 60k uh, profit because maybe if Bitcoin right now dumping, as we are heavily overbought already, and then then I can. Oh my God, IOS pumping! Uh, you see, I I get here alerts. IOS pumping. We are speaking in a second about IOS. Uh, you see, and maybe we see dump here down to to nine dollar. And then I can re-enter and can make another twenty-five percent. You see how I'm thinking, but th probably. But what if we are further pumping because Bitcoin doesn't show any signs of stopping? Look at this, bro. We reached all, all, almost eighty-five k. What the fuck? Oh my god. Aptos, $9, possibly, we could reach. Why? Because we have a lot of liquidity starting between $9, $9.60 and $9.30. You see, this is what they could grab in case Bitcoin dumping. Boom, we're dumping easy to this $9 mark and then see again a pump. And I'm missing out on this, you know. But what if we not see here this dump, but we see straight to $18, 18 then I'm missing out of much more money. You, you understand? Do you understand? Because if I take right now profits, it would be look, it would be crazy. 60 60k profits, bam! But if we are going to 18, 18, oh my god, Jim is pumping. I just got the alert. Jim is pumping, bro. One second, I I show you just 18. It's two hundred thousand dollars. So it's it's hundred forty thousand dollars more than now. Jim E, Jim is pumping. Let's let's check where Jim E, Jim E, Jim E, Jim E. Wait a minute. Oh my God! By the way, here I asked also uh, ChatGPT uh, what I checked. I I checked how to how to pronounce right things because my English is bad. Wait a minute. Ah, wait, 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 where is here? Jimmy! Oh my God! Oh my God! Look at oh my God! Look at Jimmy! Okay, let's speak about Jimmy first because I just got the alert. See here again, just the alert. And I get on my Apple Watch alert. 
GME is reaching reaching our price target zero 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 seven. It go, I don't know even the news, but I knew I knew, bro. They have a huge community. Come on, and they're sitting on a on a laughable market cap. What is the market cap of GME? Nothing, nothing. The market cap of GME is at the moment. Let's check it out. I, I was for months, months, bro. You know it to my to my to my boys. 40 million, 45 million, nothing compared to billion. This thing could easily do in the next in the next few weeks or ne even next week only. It could do easy 20x to 1 billion dollar market cap. We are in a bull run, bro. Please don't follow my advices. Always do the opposite of what I'm doing. I'm stupid. I'm losing money. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Chill, bro. Chill. Look at this. Look at this candle. It doesn't show so signs of stopping. Like Frank Sinatra was singing. It doesn't show signs of stopping. I brought you some corn for popping. And since we don't place to go, where's the fuck? Let it snow, let it snow. Where's Jimmy? Here, 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 here. Chill, chill, chill. Bro, don't be so aggressive. Don't be also so unpatient. Who said? Who this guy who died? Warren Buffett said? Be patient, then you make money. Then you make money. I don't see the chart anymore where, where I had this Fibonacci. Where I had this Fibonacci? Jimmy USD maybe here. Oh my God, again. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. You see Jimmy? Here's Jimmy. Well, now this is the other Jimmy. Here's the Jimmy. Yeah. Oh my God, look at this candle. Do you see? Perfectly, perfectly going to 076. 076. The next one would be 96. The next one 12. The next one 15. What I did here, I also I sold. I had spot position. I sold my spot position and added also to this position. I have a position of thirty three thousand dollar, which is right now two thousand five hundred dollar already. No, it should be more. It should be more because pumping. Wait, I have to refresh. I think it's more. Oh my god. Oh my god. You see here. GME, you see it down below. GME right now, 7K in profits. IOS, 4K in profits. Pepper, seven, what to do? Tell me what to do. Should I take profits on GME? Should I take profits here? Where's GME? This IOS. Where's GME? Here. Should I take profits as we're reaching here this? Or should I wait? No, the mark cap is too low. I will wait. My liquidation price is also very low. I will wait. Anyways, okay, if I'm fucked, I'm fucked. Bro, but look at this where the all-time high was. The all-time high was here. Here. At 3.1. We are going easily back there. We are going easily back there. If we are reaching all-time high 3.1, what, what would be my profits? 3.1. $150,000. But uh, I expecting... Wait a minute. Right now it's 45. Uh, I said 20x. What is the price right now of GME? The price is right now... At 006, I said 20x. Uh, 10x is uh, we could we kill one zero, it would be six, right? Here we could we kill one zero, it would be six, but 20x would be one two. Bro, I didn't watch right now how much profit. Oh my god, another half million dollars, 668k. Just imagine, just imagine, one billion, it's nothing. It's nothing for a meme coin. You know it, you know it, bro. Okay, let's go further, let's go further. Okay, GME we spoke about. Audi, Audi start dumping. Why is Audi dumping? Why is Audi dumping? Is, is Bitcoin dumping? We have to watch what's with Bitcoin happening. No, Bitcoin is a little bit, but it's okay, it's okay. Oh my God, what to do, bro? What to do? Audi we spoke, Audi we spoke, uh, Aptos we spoke, uh, what what else we have? Uh, injective, injective, injective. Don't inject anything in you, self, injective. Injectives, AI working with with FED is going price target here, Fibonacci 1618 is uh, $31, $31. I am at the moment on, uh, I also sold my whole position injective and went 2x on injective. $155,000 right now, 25k in profits. Uh, the danger is an injective here, that or the danger, but we could go again if Bitcoin dumping to $20. This again, the Fibonacci, Fibonacci gold ratio is 618. 
So you see, six, 618, we could go there down, uh, but it should be safe for me because my liquidation price is at $11. I try to be safe here, not to, 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 to go crazy, even though I want to go crazy. And uh, we have, the crazy thing is also exactly at the Fibonacci, which is at $20. This is exactly, we have all the liquidity starting at 22. You see the big chunk between 22 and 20. This is where they probably will grab the liquidity as soon as, as soon as Bitcoin dumping. And again, what should I do? Should I take here profits? Le imagine, boom, I take 25K profits. Or should I take profits when we're reaching here, what I, what I showed you, when we're reaching here $31? Because then we could see possibly here a dump back to $20, which is 34%, which is for altcoins totally fine. But then because, imagine, I take here profits, here I take profits, and then I go again here into long. Then I can make another uh, I don't know, 50, 60K. But what if I take here profits and the price is moving further up, further up, further up and I, I, I miss the re-entry? You understand? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. What to do? Okay, I spoke about all the positions. IOS. IOS, I didn't spoke about IOS. IOS breaking out. Oh my God, I, I make a new alert here. Breaking our local all-time high, which is here. Oh my God. Breaking our local auto high, which is very bullish. The price target is Fibonacci 0618, 1618 uh, at 067. So my position is not not the biggest, but also here I sold completely my IOS and went how much on IOS. But IOS I watched also always on the previous the previous uh, when Bitcoin pumped. IOS was one of also the coins which pumped pretty fast. And IOS I am right now 71k with 2x, which is right now 4k in profit. And I expecting it will it will go very quickly to one dollar back. This was the all time high very quickly, which would be 63k profits, which is very nice, which is very nice. Okay, but it's pumping and it looks nice. Um, yeah. Okay, Bratan. Did we spoke about everything? Did we, uh, I, I forgot on Max. I also long on Fed here, with which is right now thirteen thousand dollar in profits. Is it thirteen thousand dollar? How much profits is it right now? Eleven thousand dollar profits. You see? Imagine I would take here the 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 profits. What to do? What to do? What to do? I have to know it. Thirteen thousand dollar. Oh my God, bro! I this this drives me crazy. This really drives me drives me crazy, Bratan. What, what I can do with this. By the way, Bratan, one second. Just for the ones who watch until the end, it was obviously fake. This is flower. Yeah. Okay. You know, you Bratan, you have to control your emotions. Everything is shit what you put into yourself to stay awake. It's in in uh, except except caffeine, cocaine, coffee, caffeine, 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 bro, bro. You know it's a joke, okay? So that answer. Um, and if you want to support my channel, and you get discount on your trading fees, and you get up to eight thousand dollar on Bitget and thirty thousand dollar on Bybit. And we have a trading challenge on BitGet. I don't want to show you everything and support the channel. This is the main thing. You can just make registration to my link. And you can, if you have an account, you can just uh, make a new registration and use another ID, not another ID, but you can use a driver license or you can use your passport and set of ID to verify you. And you can change to my affiliate link, which gives you a discount. And you can grab the bonus if you didn't grab the last time, because now you can grab it again because now in the other ones it expired already. And the good thing is, if I have some giveaways, you are automatically participating in it because you are in the system as you are my, you registered to my affiliate link, Bratans. You know, I get small percentage of your trading fees, which you pay anyways, but you get discount on it and I get a small percentage if you are winning trades. So I need only the good traders. Bratans, thank you very much for watching. Kiss you and see you later. Ha!